Chairman of the GAA and all sorts of other things has gone from us. Uh, he's gone, Damien McCulloch. We wish him well and all his travels and let it be good. John McCall Jr., you're most welcome. How are you? Not it's, too bad, uh, You're here to help me start our celebrations of Independence Day. Yes. Because this man is just back from a student ship, that's a new word I'm inventing to cover what you were doing, <laughs> in the United States of America. Yes. What were the circumstances that brought you to America? Um, I... The program used to be called, it's called now Study USA, but it used to be called the Business Education Initiative. I was set up in about 95, 96, uh, sort of, um, uh, it was uh, a partnership that went on between the United States, the governments of the United States and uh, the Newfound, well, Newfound Northern Ireland executive oh, yeah, set yeah, up then. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, it was set up then and... Um, you know, it was set up to establish sort of business links. Okay, uh, and what did you do to get, the, to get the scholarship? Um, I had to, um, I sent in an application in November, November um, tw uh, 2012, and then I got word that I, um, I sent the application in to the British Council. Oh yes. British Council Northern Ireland. I got word that I had um, an interview in December. I sat the interview in December just before Christmas, and then um, I got word that I'd been su successful in the interview. What, in, uh, what territory January. did they cover in the interview? Uh, they covered sort of all the questions that were asked in the application form. So, like what? Tell me. So how you know, um, uh, how like what experience had you had traveling abroad before? Um, what voluntary work had you done? And it was just like sort of questions, trying to um, you know work out if you're you're if you are appropriate for the yeah, course or yeah. not. So you got um, it. You worked yeah, it. Yeah, well done. Yeah, well was, done, that I, man. I was one of about. Um, 80 others, uh, yeah. and there was a few other ones from uh, from Newry and Morn as well, yeah. um, and from from all over. So, the, which part of America did you go to? I went to um, Asheville, uh, which is a city in western North Carolina. <gasps> it's a very yeah. beautiful parts in the Appalachian yeah. area. Uh, beautiful landscape, um, and it borders borders east, borders uh, Tennessee. You know, yes, uh, right right down in the south. And yeah. uh, I went. To Watch that we mic. Just leave oh, that yeah, wire sure. loose because it, it needs to pull. May I fix just adjust it for you? I want to make sure we're hearing you and yeah. hearing you loudly and yeah. clearly. There we are. We've got keep that like just about there. Okay, so that'll gotcha. be good. Okay. I get my mic back on again, and we're in business. <laughs> yeah, but um, indeed. so you went there. What did they make of you? Had they dare I ask? Had they seen people from Northern Ireland before? <laughs> <laughs> some of them actually had. Some of the, the, the first <coughs> uh, I was the first Irish person, the first person from Northern Ireland that. Seen before, so it was an interesting mm -hmm. uh, clash of wor of worlds. So, what was their what was their take on your world? If they're take, making a take on our world this morning, they'll think we're Stone Age people, <laughs> killing politics, keep it killing economic development because of a desire of some Neanderthal people to parade. Yeah. So, yeah. were they aware of that kind of thing? Um, there were there were aware of some things. I mean, when uh, Jerry Adams, Sinn Féin president, was arrested. Um, they were asking me questions about that. Mm. Um, um, the, the incident with Peter Robinson came a bit too late for my American experience. Mm -hmm. but I'm sure questions would have been asked about that but as well. The, the Muslim thing. But, but, yeah. the, but they have these, they have these ideas, these sort of jokes that like we're in the Stone Age <laughs> ourselves, and do we have electricity and all that? But obviously that's not, uh, ah, you yeah. know, obviously that's not true at all. But um, no, there were there, there was in interesting questions. I mean, the word crack was a problem. Like the oh, way yes, we said, because they they see crack as only yeah. one thing. Yeah, it's the, a drug. You yeah, say. yeah, yeah. But so we're crack a bit of fun. Yeah. So it was an interesting thing when I met my friend, uh, or when I stayed with my friend Clark in Afton in Virginia, uh, very close to Charlottesville, sort of in Central yes. Virginia, lovely yeah. part of the world. And I was uh, his dad. They live in a farm, uh, him and his family, and uh, his dad came in from working. And uh, <laughs> his dad came in from Oregon, and uh, we were all sitting there, sort of um, eating our breakfast and stuff. And I go, his dad's called Jace, so I go, Jace, uh, what's the crack? Oh! And, he, and he was like, huh? Ah, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, I, was, I asked again, so, you know, have you got any crack? And he's like, huh? oh, my God, <laughs> it's getting worse by yeah. the moment. So the, so the third time I asked, I was getting nervous, so then I like, sort of explained what the word ah, was. Yeah. And, like, I was asking, like, what's, you know, what's going on? What's, ah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's the story? What's up? Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's yeah. up, y'all, as it's uh, yeah. in the South, you know? Well, you tell me now, what did you gain from the experience? I, I gained a, um, an I had an unbelievable time. I did so much. I, um, I did t two internships. Um, the, the, the college that so I went to... Internship means a kind yeah. of apprenticeship. You yeah, go in, yeah, you go into yeah. a company. Yeah. What yeah, companies yeah. did you go into? I went to um, Mana Food Bank, 
which is um, a food uh, food bank, and it serves the 16 counties of West and North and Carolina. And is that the same as food banks we know here? Getting, yeah, yeah, like, like the likes of Neary Food Bank, but Neary yeah. Food Bank would be more, uh, it's, it's sort of like a food bank and a food pantry, oh, whereas, yeah. uh, Neary, whereas Manor Food Bank is just a food bank, and it's, yes. it's, it's, a, it's a large, lar it's a very, very large non-profit organization. Yeah. And Manor would give the hint of a Christian uh, underpinning it. It would, but it, it, um, I suppose it's convenient because it actually stands for Mountain, Ur Mountain Area Nutritional Needs Alliance. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and one in six Americans are food insecure. And food insecure is a word. Because all the rest of them eat it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very huge Americans. <laughs> Sorry no. it's the 4th of July, I shouldn't be saying things like that. Uh, no, but it, it, it is a problem, you know, and uh, there was reductions to SNAP, yeah. which is a, a, a food a, a assistance program, yeah. a federal program, um, that was cut uh, drastically there on November 1st, 2013, and then February, under the you know v via the farm bill, yeah. so f f like food insecurity or food poverty as we call yeah, it, yeah. is definitely a problem. Um, and is it is it your impression from being there and having met people that in this most prosperous country in the whole world, there is dire poverty? Yeah, 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 and that that's a problem that the Americans are struggling to come to terms with themselves. That this this shouldn't be happening, but I mean like the like the there's a st a study called Map Map the Meal Gap. Uh, and it has figures for food insecurity in America, uh, for, for, for na like nationally, and it has food insecurity for different counties and different states. So, for example, in, in Mississippi, I think the food insecurity level is something like 23% of the population. Mm. It's it's a serious problem down there. But there was uh, we we I was um, I co-facilitated a uh, issue area workshop, and it was called the Place to the Table, um, SNAP community action and hunger and we looked at these sort of these different things we had mm. people in from local agencies like just economics we had people in from uh, local food pantries for example so what were you doing food resources what were you doing so in this in this in this outreach um so for, for this issue area workshop uh, we did a presentation we took students on direct service um, because direct service is built into the school and we also wanted to build it into the and program. And direct service means what? Direct service means going into different community partners, going to, traveling to different community partners throughout the week and doing service there. So for well, example, you mean by working with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, so doing voluntary mm. work. Um, mm. Uh, working in the food bank, or else, or you know, working in the food pantry. And the food pantry that we went to was sort of like, um, was like a wee shop. Um, um, uh, the clients would come in and get food from the different programs, like the emergency food assistance program, TFAP yeah. and SNAP, and there would, you know, there would uh, there would be signs on the on the stalls that would say you could select one food item from here, yeah. you can select ah, yeah, a piece yeah. of did you, uh, John, frozen meat from here. Did you, John, notice a difference between, in general terms? You know, it's very broad brush strokes here. Yeah. Uh, did you notice di a difference between a rich American and a poor American? And not not a mate obviously a material difference, yeah. but the smile in their faces, the look in their eyes, the the the, the sort of uh, the the height of their step, their, their enthusiasm for life. Um, I, I the, the the school that I went to, I think, uh, um, uh, like Warren Wilson College. I think uh, you know everyone was happy to a certain extent, um, but there are hidden problems in a in America, you know, in in the sense that. Like I, I, I interned also in Washington D.C. Wow, you're at the top place. I was, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't have tea with Barack Obama as my grandmother wanted me to. But well, uh, isn't your grandmother a wise <laughs> woman? She is a very wise yeah. woman, yeah. But uh, homelessness is a major problem there, and I remember I um, was interning with my friend there, and we were walking downtown and discussing it, and it's, it's a, it's a major problem. Like it's, it's very stark. They're and on the street. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. sleeping in boxes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Along the National Mall, um, outside the Capitol building. Um, you know, in Obama's home, home, you know, in, in the city that he's that he's in at the minute, you know, and he or are um, they on are they on Pennsylvania Avenue down there? Isn't that, is, what's his address number twenty seven uh, uh, or what, whatever it is? It's it's Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, are they there? Are they, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're there. there. There's, there's people. There's people. The cops don't come along and shift them out of there. Well, I, I, I'm not too sure what the DC policy yeah. is in that, but um, I like I, I worked at one Dupont Circle and du and uh, it's in North West DC and. Um, you know, there was um, homeless people um, outside outside our office and stuff out there. So we would have, you know, uh, there was a situation where me and my um, girlfriend um, were on, the, were getting on the train, and um, she gave, like, she's from the south, and she'd never really been to DC before, and she was giving a homeless person a couple of bucks. She felt she felt sorry for them, you know, and, and that was, 
you know, um, that, that was the right thing to do in, in her eyes. So mm. it's a hard problem to come across, you know, yeah. um, especially in Uri where homelessness isn't such a, a well, massive problem. We don't see problem. it. We don't see no, it. We no. don't see it. No. Now, what did the experience teach you about yourself? It, it, taught, me, it taught me a lot of things, you know, it, it, it sort of changed my views on a lot of things. Um, um, like the college that I went to wasn't particularly diverse and it should have been a bit more diverse. Um, there, wasn't many, there wasn't as many people of colour as I was expecting. Mm -hmm. People of colour made up less than 10% of the school population. Um, but the whole experience changed my views on um, sort of like different social issues. Um, um, for example, um, same-sex marriage. My, um, my, my views have been changed on that. The school that I went to, there was... So you're not in favour of it? No, um, I, I am. I, I would be in favour of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 As a consequence of your trip to America? Um, I was, I was in favour before I went, but I was even more so ah, a, a yeah. favour it, it after. It, it underpinned your, yeah. your conviction. Uh, or, yeah. Uh, yeah, and um, <sighs> like a number of other things as well. It, it, um, my experience opened, opened my eyes up to the day of food insecurity and uh, mm. uh, up, uh, like homelessness and all these different issues. And it, um, you know, like re-engaged re me with, like, with service and vo uh, voluntary, voluntary action. And voluntary yeah, work. I'm, I'm going to call some people in there. Come on in, Jack. We have Americans coming in now. Invite them in and to stand around as we complete this interview. If they come in, come, come. Just keep, uh, keep offset for the moment. We're still, in, we're still live, but we're welcoming you. The people, these are people from Southern Pines in North Carolina, oh, wow. and we'll be talking with them presently. Nice. This man is just back from America. You were on an exchange program of your own, and we're now talking about uh, food poverty there. Yeah, yeah. Come in and close the door, please. Yep. No. We'll talk. We'll ignore them for now. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and another, another internship that I had in DC was with the Association of Catholic Colleges and Universities as well. Is that a big thing? Is religion a big thing? Because it, uh, Catholic education, especially in the south of Ireland these, mm. these days, is spat from the mouth of those, of those who, are, uh, who have responsibility for bringing it in. All the background we've had. America's had its difficulties there too with yeah. paedophilic priests and the like. And sister, uh, That's the reality. Yeah. Have they gone beyond that now or is it still a difficulty? Um, I didn't notice the, the, um, that as being a, a major problem. It's when not I, when even I was talked working. about. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't really come across it. Yeah, no. good, good, um, good. And I didn't. Uh, I didn't come across in the association as well. Um, the association was just, um, you know, it was concentrating on advancing Catholic yeah. identity and Catholic mission within schools. Is that important schools. there for them? Yes. Uh, 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 for the organisation that I work with, it was the main yeah. national organisation in yeah. the United States, and it was. It was. But it you was were really you important. were doing the internship with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's um, the nature in which it was your organisation. And that was actually yeah. funded by the British Council as well, yeah. um, which and funded well, sure, that's by. That's as good as it gets. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was. It was. An, it was accent you know did you see uh, the american people uh, you know they've been policemen to the world for a long long time oh yeah did, were you aware of them sort of becoming more introspective and uh, starting to say look let the world take care yeah. of itself a little yeah. bit yeah. we need to be strong at home yeah 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 i, I um, actually came across people from um that had different political opinions i had f um cousins and i had a uh, close family friends who had different opinions from my own that would have been very that would have been more conservative than my than myself mm -hmm. so um it, i think it, i think it has become more like that you know people yeah. are more focused on you know problems within the economy and some people feel that you know the recovery hasn't actually hit america yet and there's too much focus mm -hmm. on on the situation out in iraq and, and uh -huh. afghanistan perhaps not enough in the united states john wh where are you going now what's happening now to you in your life um I'm uh, finishing up uh, final year at uh, Queen's University. I'm studying what? Uh, studying uh, history and politics. Right. What are you going to um, do when I, you leave? I hope to do a master's in legislative studies. Start what are you going to do when you leave the desk <laughs> behind you? <coughs> <coughs> do you know yet? Um, no, um, but like yourself, I'm pretty sure that I'll have... Um, uh, that I'll, I'll step into a number of careers and stuff. I, I, love, I love the compliment you give me there. <laughs> I'm not sure of the basis for it because I've been flying, I've been winging it all my life, dear well, boy, I that's, tell you. That's, sometimes that's the best way to do it, you know. You're I'm, a sensible man. Life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. I yes, it does, you know, absolutely. I, I, when you reach the mountaintop, <laughs> then only shall you begin to climb. Yeah, and I, I, think I actually so. got in, uh, engaged on June 2nd, so the, whole, the whole trip, I was a busy fellow during the trip. Is she a beautiful woman? Life. She, she is indeed, yes. Will she yeah. do what she's bid? 
<laughs> she's a, a she, a, she likes to men herself. She's a very strong, independent woman. Is she an American so, woman? Uh, she is. She's from East Tennessee. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I uh, love. Uh, yes. Great. You've uh, got a woman from East Tennessee. <laughs> How did you propose to her? I. Um, been thinking about it a long time and we were up in Washington DC together she came up and visited me and we tr uh, went for a trip on uh, June 2nd along the National Mall. Yeah. Had she any Walk inkling at all it was going to come? I, uh, I think she had a wee bit of an inkling because I was sort of dropping hints here and there but nothing too... too uh, what about she wasn't too dropping, certain. What about dropping on one knee? Oh yeah. Did yeah. you do that bit? Uh, that, that, that came too yeah. yeah. You crawler. <laughs> what a way to start. I think it's terrible. I, uh, Where are you buying your engagement ring? No, I, I, I got the engagement ring in a wee, uh, a wee store in D.C., but um, I... Uh, but you know, if you had gone to Southern Pines in <laughs> North Carolina, yes. you would have had a replica Jack Murphy shop in there, because oh, there you go. Southern Ca they come all over the place for the boutique yeah. economy of Southern Pines. Yeah. Local businesses in the heart of Southern Pines, they've only got about 12,000 people there, yeah. but they take a pride on all of their, uh, all of that localness, so to speak, yeah. and uh, we're going to be talking to Southern Pines people very, very shortly. Nice. I'm going to play you some American music because on the program today we're celebrating the 4th of July. Thanks yeah. for coming. John McCall Jr. Go Thank well. Take much. care. Thank you very much.